ever dreamt of a drink that's out of this world? Like, seriously, out of this world? Introducing Mars Water. Straight from the newest discovery on the Red Planet. Mmm, I can taste the iron. Mars Water, where the future is refreshing. Available 2060 at your nearest space station. Yep, according to scientists, Mars Water is a real thing. You see, scientists from the University of California reckon they've discovered liquid water under the surface of Mars and say there's enough of it to cover the planet with an ocean at least a kilometre deep. Although... The liquid water is roughly 11 to 20 kilometres uh, beneath the subsurface and getting that liquid water would be quite challenging. So how did they figure all this out? Introducing NASA's Mars InSight Lander. It touched down on the planet in 2018. Touchdown confirmed. And until it shut down a few years ago, it's been sitting quietly listening to the pulse of Mars, measuring how fast seismic waves from Mars quakes travel through the planet. And because sound travels at different speeds through different materials, they could work out water was deep inside the planet. But this is the first time that we have evidence for liquid water on Mars, which is why this is so exciting. Water affects just about everything about a planet's evolution. We know that water is a key ingredient for life as we know it. It means that it's potentially habitable in the mid-crust of Mars. While Mars is hundreds of degrees colder than Earth and hardly has any oxygen, Mars and Earth actually have a lot in common. Mars has got polar ice caps, volcanoes and seasons. And some scientists reckon that billions of years ago, Mars was a lot like Earth today. There's actually history that Mars had surface water a long time ago in the past. So when we look at the rocks, we see evidence of, you know, dried out by ocean basins or lake basins. We see streams, we see canyons that look like they were carved by water, just like on Earth. In fact, scientists think it's one of the few places in our solar system, other than Earth, where life may have once existed and may still exist. Uh, probably not like this. Oh, but in some tiny form. Some also think that Mars could one day support human life. And some big companies and organisations are spending a lot of time and money to try and get there, conducting all sorts of experiments to work out how they could make the journey and live on the surface. And while the discovery of liquid water is big news, it may not be that helpful. Drilling 10 kilometres down is really hard even on Earth, let alone on Mars. And there are some other things to work out. So you've got to be able to land, you know, you've got to build a habitat, which we don't really know how to do yet. And then you've got to somehow have a ship to get you back in, you know, about a year. And that's a very long time to do all those things. And you'd want to get it right if you're going all that way. But while it might be some time before we see humans living on the red, dusty planet and taking a refreshing sip of cool Martian water, it's still an exciting step in our understanding of life in our solar system.